Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Assalamualaikum everyone. So here today I'm going to represent my group members to present our project model based on the chapter 7 analytic geometry. So here I'm going to tell you my name first is which is Saidatul Najah binti Azman with metric numbers 9200996. So our project model is our glass with a high 80 cm, diameter base is 8.8 cm and the center is 3 cm. So here our explanation why we use our glass as our project model. So our group is using our glass and it is an example of a real life hyperbola. It is because the hyperbola function is used specifically by creating an imaginary transverse axis that we consider for C and center. The center is located where the sand floats up and slowly descend into the bottom part of the vertical hyperbola. So, as you know, hyperbola has two uh, types, so vertical and horizontal. So, our hyperbola is a vertical for our project model. So, here, um, like the sketch on the graph, as you can see here, the asymptotes A, B, vertex, the center, the C, uh, the conjugate axis is y and the x is the transverse axis. So the transverse axis is on the x axis. So here our calculation. So as you as you guys know, our hyperbola is a vertical transverse axis. So the center is and uh, the coordinate for center is zero zero. So for the equation, we are uh, we will already get y square over a square minus x square over b square equal to 1. So, we already get a and b from our calculation for the project model. So, we will get a square 16 and a is 4 while b square is 9 and b is 3. So, we just substitute the equation and we will get y square over 16 minus x square over 9 equal to 1. So, when we already get the equation, we can substitute the equation for uh, to find the c so here c square equal to a square plus b square so we will get c square equal to 16 plus 9 is c is equal to 5 so first we're gonna find a for c so for c here is 0 plus minus c so we already have c we shall substitute with 5 so for c we get 2 coordinate which is 0 5 and 0 negative 5 so for vertices we as two vertices which is major and minor so we just substitute and equation and we will get 0 4 0 negative 4 and for minor we will get 0 3 and 0 negative 3 so here the equation of asymptote which is plus minus a per b x and we just substitute the a and b which is 4 and 3 we will get 2 coordinate which is y and y equal to 4 over 3 x and y equal to negative 4 over 3 x then D, we hear as length of transverse axis, which is x axis. So we just uh, multiply 2 and A. So 2 times 4 is 8 cm. So then we have length of lattice rectum. We're going to find it by 2 B square over A. So just it B, which is 3 A and 4. So we will get 18 over 4, which is 4.5 cm. Don't forget the cm. And then we have already equation of the directrices, which is y equal to plus minus a square over c. And we will get y equal to 16 over 5 and y equal to negative 16 over 5. So, here, in my opinion, this hourglass with the hyperbola in shape is suitable because by using hyperbola concept, the grain of soil or sand only came through at the center point. This help control the sand or soil to keep a steady flow for an hour or minute. Moreover, hyperbola in shape will make structurally strong and stand heavy weight pressure like sand or soil. So it's a very convenient technology and it also an early devices for measuring interval time um, in ancient time. So for me, our glass is a suitable technology to use and then and now. Thank you for watching my video. That's all from me.